Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Lovely Grind. My name is Michael Preeby, and my website is lovelygrind.com. It's where you're going to find blog posts about health, healing, and happiness, and that's also where you can sign up for my free monthly newsletter about those topics, and also check out more information about my coaching sessions, which are done online or via phone. So I hope you'll go to my website, also subscribe to this YouTube channel, and click thumbs up on the videos if you enjoy them. I'm glad that you're back here today checking out these videos I'm doing about prescription drug withdrawal and healing from that withdrawal. Um, quick and brief summary, my withdrawal came after quitting Paxil and Xanax, so an SSRI and a Benzo. Um, after 14 years of use, more or less for anxiety, I quit those and then had a protracted withdrawal. It was very difficult, um, but I did find improvements in healing and good health. And so I'm sharing that with all of you so that you can keep walking along your own better health journeys. The topic of today's video is the power we have to create our own reality. And that translates into how we affect our own healing process. You know, I think that a lot of times um, people get scared because they think that reality is something that's thrust upon us, very objective, um, especially with healing. It either happens or it doesn't, and we have no control over it. It's kind of a a crapshoot, you know, I've heard it happens for some people, but maybe not for me, you know, and we forget how we can affect our own story and make improvements on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis. You know, and I think that translates into life at large. You know, we, we always create our own reality every single day. Um, you know, there is this whole thing going on right now with the COVID situation. And if you were to just read the news, which some people read a lot of, way too much of, if you were to just look at your phone all day, read the news, you would think that no one was going outside, that everyone was afraid. Everyone was afraid of grocery shopping, getting together with people, you know, scared they might be struck down by this coronavirus. But then you actually shut the phone off, step outside your door, go outside to a park, a beach, uh, many other places, and you see people just living their lives, many, many people. You know, that, that struck me the other day. Um, I went to the beach a couple times this week. It's about an hour from my house on Lake Michigan, and it's a very nice beach. I went there, um, you know, did some laying out in the sun, did some running, uh, did some note taking, and I, I just enjoyed myself, and I was around hundreds of people. It was packed every day. Nobody was uh, talking about coronavirus. Nobody was wearing a mask, except maybe, you know, a couple elderly people that really... I think it was a good idea for them to be doing that um, to ease their minds and to offer protection if they're vulnerable. But otherwise, it was just normal life right in front of your face. And it is such a stark contrast a million miles away from you, what you see looking at your phone or watching the nightly news on TV or whatever. And I think we have to remember that in the healing process also. Uh, you know, sometimes you just have to step away from uh, the videos the forums, all that stuff about withdrawal, get away from all that negativity, focus on your story for a second. Um, do something that doesn't revolve around withdrawal. Try to get your mind off that particular topic for a while. You know, get outside, sit on the patio, or whatever, grill out with your family, um, take a walk in the park, watch a show. You know, I know these things are difficult sometimes and they're not as enjoyable perhaps right now as they once were or as they will be in the future, but it's still better than obsessing on symptoms or looking at negativity in the virtual world. You know, it's something you can do, a real life practical suggestion for creating your own reality and altering it today. You know, there is good life out there for you. Um, step away from the things that are causing you more stress and do some of the things that cause you less stress or a little enjoyment, and that affects your reality and in turn affects your healing. So just a reminder to everyone out there, you do have power over your situation. Um, it's not just some monster that we have no power over this withdrawal thing. And the healing thing isn't just some objective, you know, crapshoot. It happens for some, may not for, we can all experience it. But we have to take steps to make our own reality a reality, to make our own vision a reality. I think you know what I'm saying. So I hope you'll do that. I hope you take little steps this week and this month to just try to do something that makes you forget about the top of withdrawal for five minutes or five hours, and that will help you out immensely. Uh, my name is Michael Preeby. My website's lovelygrind.com. I hope you'll go there, uh, check out the info about my coaching, sign up for my newsletter. 
Uh, again, click thumbs up on this video, subscribe to this channel, and until next time, please remember to take care of yourself and your dreams.